here's how you can add a custom slideshow to your bubble app using repeating groups and custom states. So I have a product page here for the marketplace app that I'm building. Uh, and I'd like, you know, it's fairly common on e-commerce sites to have a grid of images down here, which when I click on, uh, they'll take over this featured image slot. So uh, let's go onto my product page and um, I need to put in a repeating group because uh, this is going to display all of the images that are available. Um, let's just uh, have a look in the element tree. Yes, I have two columns here, left and right, and I want this to go in on the left. Uh, this is going to be type content image. Uh, I'm just going to tidy up the layout a little bit, make it the full width of my column. Um, change the inside to row, although that doesn't really matter. Um, one row, uh, and then I'm gonna go for four columns, brilliant. Um, <clears throat> and then uh, I need to add an a image element um, because this is going to be showing my uh, thumbnail. I'm just gonna make this nice and tidy. Well, I'm gonna do it quickly, so it's not gonna be perfect. Uh, and so this is a image element in a repeating group, and so the dynamic image is the current cells image um, and uh, okay brilliant now I need to set up my database so at the moment under product uh, you'll see that I have a thumbnail uh, but this field is only going to contain one image at a time um, so I need to create another field called uh, images uh, in fact I'll name it something different so it's really clear uh, let's call it photos otherwise it gets a little bit confusing with the field type um, so this is type image um, but I want to store multiple photos, images in there. Uh, so I check that box to make it a list. You can't change a, um, a custom data types field between singular or list. Um, so it, sometimes, I mean, I've just found myself having to delete a field and, and recreate it if I've then learned that a list is going to be better. Um, so uh, now uh, let's upload. So I go back into app data and then edit here and I start adding my photos. I've just skipped ahead there uh, so that you don't uh, see how slow my upload speed is but you can see that I've now added in uh, four images in total and I click save. Okay, yeah, there are my four images. Uh, they're all of different sneakers but yeah, we'll just run with it. Um, right, so how do I display those images uh, in this repeating group? So I access the current page product Remember, this page is set up uh, to show a content type product. Uh, so current page product and uh, photos. Uh, and it knows that photos contains a list, and so it accepts it as a uh, appropriate image field for a repeating group. Let's have a look at our preview now. Ah, okay, I was waiting for it to load, but actually what has happened here is it's previewed, again, the sample. It, it hasn't, um, it doesn't know to show this uh, sneaker. Um, so if I go back, this was something that I set up in a, in a previous video, but I'll just demonstrate it here. On my index page, I have a repeating group that shows all my products, and this links through to the product page, but displaying there we have it, the um, unique ID of the product I'm trying to work with these sneakers. So there we go. Um, okay, so there's a few things I need to set up here. One uh, is uh, that when you click on one of the sneakers here, I want it to change that image. So how do I go about that? Well, I think I'm gonna use custom states. Custom states are a great way of storing data without it having to touch the database. This can be uh, a little bit quicker. Um, and it also means that when the page is reloaded or a user kind of leaves your app and it comes back, it's, it's not saved. Um, the data, that, it's like temporary data, it's lost. Uh, so um, I need somewhere to store my custom state. Now I can store my custom state in, on basically any element on the page. Um, but again, just so that it's really straightforward, um, I'm in the wrong section, there we go, left. Uh, I'm gonna store it in my left-hand column here. So add a custom state, uh, let's say, call this featured image. 
and then uh, this is of type image and it's not going to hold a list I only want one at a time um, and so then uh, for here I need to change the dynamic image this is no longer being used thumbnail that's part of my kind of old setup without there being this slideshow um, so I now refer to left that's my column and here's my custom state featured image uh, brilliant that works now I need something to happen if I click on one of these elements um, and because it's a repeating group I only need to do it once I can't edit these other cells I just edit the first one and it carries across all of the um, other cells uh, so uh, to add data to a custom group we, we go custom state we say set state uh, we then find where we're storing that left and then the one we're changing or adding data to featured image and then say current cells image brilliant let's have a look at how it's going I have a feeling we're still going to work on this uh, it has once okay I need to stop hitting preview uh, and start <laughs> refreshing the page instead uh, so refresh the page there we go yeah because I, I lost when hitting preview it takes you through to that sample page uh, with loads of dummy content rather than an actual page taking the piece of data from my database that has this unique ID my sneakers product and displaying it um, so let's have a go if I click on it it works but uh, did you notice what hasn't worked so well if I hit refresh uh, yeah it's blank that's because there's nothing in the custom state when the page loads now can I set a default value um, if I go on to left custom state uh, yes I can if I upload it but my default value needs to be the first um, the first image in my uh, series of thumbnails my repeating group down here I can upload an image but then it's not dynamic uh, so to fix that I can go for on page load and say on page load set state of left featured image and then um, there's two ways I could do this in fact I, yeah, I'll show you both I can go current page product um, photos and then first item let's check that so it's saying we know that there's a list in the photos um, field uh, and let's display the first item and, and that means that it, that only saves it on page load so that when I click on an element here another image it overwrites it there's another way you could do it uh, I'm sure one of these offers a slight performance boost but it's worth demonstrating I can go to the repeating group repeating group image list of image first item okay and it's worked just the same way so instead of fetching it straight from the database maybe this takes a you know a smidge longer to load it loads the repeating group and then takes the first image instead anyway that is how to create a uh, like a product slider or you know you can have all sorts of uses for um, a slideshow uh, and a slider element in your bubble app um, but anyway that is just one way of going about it